Welcome back. Glad you're still watching Ala TV News. I'm Rosine Bazongile, your guest anchor of tonight. On the international scene, cheers and applause to punctuate the speech of Samaria, new President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, as he promised to tackle corruption, poverty, insecurity, and humanitarian crisis that has devastated Somalia in the recent months. However, Sheikh Mohammed warned to continue lack of lane could have grave consequences of, uh, of the country. His colorful inauguration ceremony was Thursday, attended by hundreds of people, including the leaders of Kenya, Ethiopia, and Egypt. We have this report, Curtis Al Jazeera. So, do you guys actually get slapped like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is, uh, those real slaps? Samari, others are not. <laughs> what? Yeah. And do you, after being slapped, do you actually want to reiterate and, and No, not back? really. That's when it happens accidentally. You can't just slap someone back. Yeah, but it happens. Yeah. Hi, um, ladies and gentlemen, those who are joining us, we are joined by Rosine Bazonger. Is that the right pronunciation of your name, actually? Bazonger. Bazonger. Yes. <laughs> eh, Inga. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, I mean, she's a household name. She has been into the film and acting industry, however you call it. Cinema, cinematography industry, I don't know the word. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. And you've seen her in so many of the Ronan movies. And that one is called? Uh, City Maid. Yeah, at least. Of course, yeah. we've seen her on City Maid on Ronda TV and so many others that you've seen her acting. She's such a superstar, this one. In the movie industry, these are the names that we want to talk about. Rosine, you're actually the first person from the movie industry to be my guest anchor on Rwanda TV. So thank oh, wow. you so much. That's good. Thank you so much Congrats. for joining us. Thanks for inviting me. And thank you for accepting to sit in my seat. I hope it was uh, good for you. <laughs> it was really good, a bit hard. I hope people enjoy Yeah, they'll be nice. Okay. And they'll enjoy it. And yeah. I really hope they'll enjoy it. You did great. So besides being an actress, what else do people actually do not know about you? Uh, apart from being an actress, uh, I'm a mother. Oh, you are? I'm a mother. I have a beautiful son called Prince. Um, so um, being with him and uh, spending some time with him has inspired me to, um, to, to, to create a Her Friends program. It's a, her friends is a family of young mothers that got and are wanted pregnancies. So I brought them together so we can be there for each other, help each other. Yep. And um, yeah, something yeah. not everyone can do yeah. who, who have never been there, who have no experience of that. So uh, when I'm not in acting, I'm, uh, I'm being a mother, probably, oh, probably with my yeah. Have friends, ladies. Yeah. Interesting. You actually look very young. Um, maybe I could be wrong. <laughs> How old is your son? He's seven. Seven? Yes. And you like, do you want us to go talk about that? So, um, anyways, um, but you look young, really. I do, uh, yeah. but I'm not. You're not? I'm not. <laughs> You're not. Yeah. Um, uh, Prince should be very proud of you as a mother. I hope he is already. <laughs> super stuff, super stuff. So what was your childhood like growing up? How did you, did you even at some point envision being an actress or doing what you're doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't, it was good. My, my parents was good. Did their best. Mm. Yeah, still now. Uh, until I lost my dad in 2010. Yeah. Um, actually, after three years, that's when I got my son. Uh, that's... I got a bit challenging yeah. challenges in my in my childhood, but uh, yeah, now I can say I got experience and it wasn't bad. But yeah. uh, it was a routine, you know. Do you want to share a bit of your challenges? Are you comfortable with that? Okay, yeah. Like I said, I lost my dad to yeah, certain that, that I was very young. Sorry, that. I was uh, I was young in senior one. How old were you then? I was fifteen. So at eighteen, you got your. The son. Yes, three, yeah. years later. three years later, that's when I got my son. And, uh, you know, uh, 
like I lost my dad, then that all happened. A bit challenges in my in my at at school. Uh, yeah. You know, we we just left with mommy. I was young, and my young brother was also still young. Yeah, you know, it wasn't a, it was a bit a lot for mommy and for us too. So, and uh, a bit after, uh, yeah, some challenges comes in. I don't want to go deep, but. Uh, mm. Yeah, after then getting my, my son, I was also still young. Yeah. I also needed, you know, I, 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 I was still young to need parents to yeah. be around. So, and I brought the baby again. So it wasn't a bit, wasn't his at all. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. Your mom was very supportive. Yeah, was supportive. Yeah. yeah, he didn't give up on me. <laughs> yeah, she didn't. Yeah, she so didn't. yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but you're, I mean, looking back at the challenges you've gone through, I'm so sure you're proud of how you've come through them. Yeah, I am. And uh, yes, it wasn't easy that time. Yeah. But I can say you learn a lot in that life. Yeah, being a young mother, it's yeah. something not easy at all. But uh, you learn a lot. And uh, when you grow up and having also responsibilities, yeah. it's good to having responsibilities on young age, okay, it's not just on young age, yes. but you grow up uh, yeah. mature you somehow, very getting strong things and well, yeah, you, and being you grow strong. grow up real fast, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. imagine. So, but, you know, how did you end up into acting now? Let's talk about what you're doing. How did you end up into acting? It's something I loved. Uh, uh, when was that? I think uh, uh, I thought of going in, a, in a acting, in acting. Uh, 2004, uh, 12, 13 there. Yeah. That's when I thought about it. Uh, by that time, I wasn't in Rwanda, I was in Uganda. Then uh, I said I want to be a superstar in my country. I don't know, but I felt this that yeah. I will be a superstar. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, like, I wanted to do this yeah. here and, uh, yeah, represent my country. Be just a superstar here. Yeah. I just feel like that. And you've done that, especially <laughs> in the movie industry. It's, I'm so still good. trying. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> so I, 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 after getting, then after having my baby, I come back, you know, and uh, I started from zero. Uh, like it was a bit far again from my dreams, the dreams I had. But um, when I came back to working in Kigali, I met different friends, I met different people, I told them about um, the, the, uh, my dream of being an actress. And uh, my sister cousin, the one um, uh, connected me with the, her friend, uh, was an actress. We met, we talked, I told her, hey, I like it. I love it, I want to do it. And um, she connected me with a producer called Apurinale. Apurinale. One thing led to another. Yes, and then... yeah, yeah. And I was casted. Here I am. I was casted in a good movie called Dimheta Yange. Yeah. And then Sit Maid. Many people watch our TV. I think yeah. they know already Sit Maid. They know me. They. I still with the Sit Maid. Yeah, yeah. Since 2016. I was Even there. up to now. Mm -hmm. You're still acting in Sit Maid. Mm -hmm. I need to start watching Sit Maid. My. You haven't. But I know oh. most people. We have so many people who are so you know so much. They will never miss an episode. <laughs> <laughs> you surely have the best moments of your career so far. If you could tell us, have you won awards? What are the best moments of your career? And the heart, heart what has it given to you? Okay. Um, you know, we've been in the COVID things. Mm. We didn't have festivals here, you know. And uh, yeah, in our career, in this industry, it's, uh, it's a career that we're still building. Yeah. The progress is not bad at yeah. all, but we're still building. Okay. Uh, I haven't won that big uh, award, yeah. but um, the most, the most movies, the short films, uh, there's a short film, the, the movies we do here, mm -hmm. local movies, but uh, there's also producers that produce international movies, short films that goes in the festivals. Yeah. My, my short films I've been acting in, um, won, uh, yeah, won two awards. Yeah. Which country is that? Uh, it's a short movie called, uh, I forgot, it's for Ines Jirihirwe, okay. it's a young filmmaker. Yeah. She, she has that, uh, that, that film. Yeah. So very, very briefly, as we conclude, mm. would you encourage someone to join the movie? Of course, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is paying? It's, of course. It is yeah, rewarding, yeah. I can see. 
Yeah. Now uh, we have. I'm not told we don't have much time, but I want to say thank you so much for finding time to join us here on the TV news and for sharing your story. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, we look forward to having you more here, sharing more successful stories of the movie industry in Rwanda. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from me and my guest anchor, Rosin Bazonjeri. I got the right one there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We say thank you and, of course, the entire news production team. Until next time, bye for now. I'm Ethan Tashabia.